lights. All right, ladies and gentlemen, our next fight, three rounds of K1 fighting, and is our first of the Super Fight Series 70 kilogram eight-man tournament quarterfinal. Please welcome your first fighter to the blue corner, Eddie Lopez. All right, ladies and gentlemen, sorry, apparently that fight is off. I'm always the last one to know, sorry. All right. Our next fight is three rounds of fighting in the Super Fight Series 70 kilogram eight man tournament quarterfinal. Please welcome your first fighter to the blue corner. Here comes Danny Hodgson. Welcome his opponent to the red corner. Here is Fabio Paro. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Three rounds of fighting in the Super Fight Series, 70 kilogram, eight man tournament. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall. His official weight, 69.7 kilograms. Fighting out of TMA, here is Denny Hodgson. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. He stands six feet, three inches tall. He weighed in 70.1 kilogram. Fighting out of KO Next Generation, here is Fabio Paro. And once again, when the action begins, your referee in charge, third man in the ring, is Chris Bachador. Eight-man quarterfinal time in the blue corner, Danny Hodgson from TMA. In the red, Fabio Barros from the KO Next Generation gym. Two incredible gyms, and I must say that KO the Next Generation across K1 and MMA have really been make, making a name for themselves. And I love the way this gym operates and their fans are some of the most sporting I've ever seen in the country. This should be a marvelous contest between two great camps, but you can see Fabio has a real height advantage here. And obviously for either man, the quicker you get your opponent out there, the less damage you take, the more rest you have, the more chance you have 
are becoming the winner of this tournament. It's Hodgson lands with the first blistering low kick. Barros, though, keeping centre ring. A high point right kick from Hodgson. His fans react to it, and he started very strongly right through the channel there with the right hand as well. Good start from the TMA man, and as I said, two superb camps in this quarterfinal. And Barash is having a good look at his opponent, and Hodgson is using that time to capitalise, chopping at the lead leg of Barash. Barash then targets the lead leg of this shorter opponent. Walking him down again, but the left hand, right hand combination from Hodgson. Barros, left leg blocked on the glove. Chops to the thigh this time with the same leg. And again, Fabio looks to come in, but Danny uses that fast left and right combination to keep him at bay. Looks for the knee reply to the left and right from Danny. And with his height, he's got a real advantage there, but Danny chops away at that lead leg once more and that solid right hand. Then the spinning back fist. Tough times for Fabio Barros in this opening round. Danny Hodgson, oh, as soon as I said that, the timing of the knee from Fabio Barros was pure quality. Turned everything on its head there for Danny Hodgson. And I said that Fabio Barros was having a good look at his opponent, and then suddenly from nowhere, the knee came in, and another one. And Danny is under all sorts of pressure. The right eye is swelling there. One clinch, one shot, Fabio being warned. Must release after the shot. And he's saying, I think that that was two knees that he didn't release after the first knee. It was close, but we've got such a good referee in there in Chris Batchelder. The way they go once more, but now there's the danger. Fabio knows how to use that height advantage, and that knee was clean through the channel again, and once more, forging forward, and suddenly it's a different fight altogether. Danny showing real heart here, but Fabio like a dog after a bone with that right knee to the left-hand side. And now the other side of the face is cut for Danny Hodgson. Oh, and a big knee again. And he's all over Danny, that final knee. This is it for me, it's all over. And after a good start, he has been opened up, battered and beaten by Fabio Barras. And this is what I'm saying about the KO Next Generation, Jim. Phenomenal performances, phenomenal cornering and an incredible team behind them of fans. Well, Danny Hodgson started on fire, but it was the height advantage of the knees of Fabio Barros that proved devastating. What a win by stoppage. And just while out to the energy got there, no 